Okay, plus. So we can start now, eh? I think 16 of you. Okay, it's recording. Okay, so can you listen, right? Everyone? Mm -hmm. Can yeah. okay, okay, good. Yeah. Okay, so can you see the slide, right? Can I? Okay. Hey, class, so so far this is the twelfth topic. So this topic is going to be a little uh, weird one. <laughs> uh, quantum physics. Eh? Quantum physics is uh, is uh, one of the killer paper. If you planning to go physics as your first degree. Eh? So quantum physics is uh, a new idea okay we call it is the is actually a, uh, a field under under modern physics okay we have two types of physics classical physics and modern physics okay classical physics the one you learn in all levels the one contributed by newton uh, classical physics okay when uh, objects start to move close to speed of light then the rule slightly different. We need to alter the Newton's law and everything. So that's called uh, modern physics. So quantum is, uh, is a topic under modern physics, uh, developed by, of course, contributed by Einstein. Okay, I can say this is the first topic about Einstein, okay? In depth about his contribution, uh, quantum physics. Okay, so listen carefully. The story is going to be a very long story. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story, okay? So hope you... You, you understand okay so under quantum physics we're going to talk about something called part one called photon okay i believe some of you heard of photon right photon uh, it's a concept of quantum physics now eh? then we're going to, going to talk about i think other other than that you can see down all our new ideas nothing is uh, something new for you not uh, already called, uh, familiar for you right except the last one production of x-ray also something new you know x-ray but you don't know how product Actually, it was produced. Okay, so let's be continue. Okay, these are learning outcomes. Uh, I straight go to the point. Eh? Okay, so what is quantum physics? Okay, quantum, quantum physics, uh, quantum, uh, quantized, we call it quantized fixed value. Uh, the behavior of matter and energy in the molecular atomic nuclear mo at the microscopic level is called quantum physics. Uh, eh? Yeah, in 20th century, it was covered and laws covered microscopic object in terms does not function the same in such a small field. Okay, so quantum physics is uh, we we investigating in at what you call the matter in at, at its microscopic level. Eh? Okay, quantum means a uh, Latin word uh, we call it how much or it refers to the discrete unit of matter. And discrete, the value is discrete, fixed value. And we call it fixed value. Okay, even in space and time, it appears to extremely continuous as small as possible values. Okay. Okay, so quantum physics, uh, first, uh, the, the developer of quantum physics, first is of course, Max Planck. Okay, Max Planck, uh, 1900 paper about black body radiation. Eh? Max Planck is the first scientist who developed the quantum physics. After Max Planck, Albert Einstein uh, uh, further developed the idea. And uh, then Neil Bohr, you heard of Neil Bohr, right? Neil Bohr discovered what? The atomic structure. Eh? What is the contribution of Neil Bohr about atomic structure? The electron has different energy levels, okay? Uh, Neil Bohr get energy, different energy levels through quantum physics. Through quantum physics and eh, Bohr. So after Einstein was Nilbohr was uh, developed the quantum physics, then Heisenberg and Schrodinger. Eh? Heisenberg, Schrodinger, we won't be discussing under A levels. Uh, if you're interested later in physics uh, you are taking, then quantum physics in university. You might talk about these two guys. Our A levels only up to Nilbohr. Then uh, all of them got Nobel Prize for their contribution. Eh? Not even one left. Everyone got Nobel Prize. 
developing the quantum physics. Okay. Okay. So I go to the highlighted points. Okay. Uh, okay. The the problem is a uh, first you know electromagnetic wave. Okay, electromagnetic wave. In Max Planck, in 1900, Max Planck, a German physicist suggested that the electromagnetic wave emitted from a black body was quantized. Uh, you know, electromagnetic wave, electromagnetic wave, wave the energy of a wave eh, is, is continuous. As far as we know, the energy is continuous. Continuous. Continuous means what? Let's say you have a surface, the light strikes on the surface, okay, uh, the energy cannot break into uh, what do you call like water, you know, the water, uh, the water, you cannot split the water into a smaller unit. The water is continuous. Like, you know, sugar, uh, sugar uh, grain, it's, 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 it's a discrete. Eh? The sugar, we call it as a discrete unit, discrete unit, because we can have uh, one unit, one unit, one small level of sugar. So sugar is discrete. But water is, we say, continuous. Continuous means you cannot break. Okay, the wave energy also the same. Wave energy is continuous. Continuous means the energy is not in a packet. It's like continuous. Uh, let's say uh, two uh, watts, uh, two joule per second it strikes the surface. Means if you explore it, ex uh, expose the surface for five seconds, then the amount of energy going to strike is uh, two joule per second. So five seconds going to be ten joule of energy going to receive by the body. Okay, so it's not in a packet. The energy is continuous, like water. Okay, but in 1900, Max Planck, first ever scientist, the first scientist, told that to the world that it looks like, according to his research, they found that the energy of uh, EM radiation eh, is found to be discrete. It is found to be the energy looks like is in a packet, according to his data shows. The uh, light energy, all electromagnetic wave, they say the energy looks like it's in a packet. It looks like never shows the continuity. It shows it like a packet. It's called discrete amount of packet. Called quantas. We call it even name it as a quantas la first. Eh? Okay. Uh, this is the idea of quantum physics. La, eh? The beginning. Of course, the entire world against to that. Okay. Because it's a new idea. How can wave? Is a continuous energy. It's not. It's like water, continuous. You can't break into packet. Like not, not like a single unit. But uh, Max Planck say it looks like it's a packet. Okay. So after 1900, uh, 1905, Einstein explains the idea. Okay. Einstein explains the idea. Okay. So first. I can see it is uh, so quantizing packet energy called photon, which is a particular nature of electromagnetic radiation. Eh? Okay, so now the new idea is the light which is comes strikes on you. You can imagine that it's in the packet. The photon is a quantum of packet of energy. One mark packet of energy of EM radiation. Another one mark. Two mark question. Very famous question. And if a quantum question comes out for your paper for actual examination, most likely the part one question is what meant by photon. What is meant by photon? Photon means a packet of energy. Packet, eh? A packet of energy of an EM radiation. That's photon. Okay, it's a packet of energy. Okay. The packet of energy of a light is called the energy is formula is HF. Uh, this is the energy of a packet. Uh, H is, is a Planck constant. Planck constant uh, is the godfather. So is, is the constant is Planck constant. Name it 6.63 times 10 power 34. The F stands for frequency, of course. Frequency. Okay. So energy of a photon is dependent to the Planck constant and the frequency. Okay. Or the frequency can be written as V over lambda. F is V over lambda, V over lambda. So V, this is electromagnetic radiation, so the speed will be a speed of light, so C over lambda. That's why the formula tend to become like this. V over lambda. So HF or HC over lambda, energy of photon formula. Okay? 
So what is photon? A packet of energy. Okay. Okay. That means let's say from a laser pointer, from a laser pointer, let's say a red light comes up from the laser pointer. Uh, Einstein, the modern physics says that the energy is in terms of packet. It's in terms of packet, and the one energy you can calculate h h times f, or you can use h c of lambda. Okay. So tell me, you have a red light, you have a blue light, you have a blue light, blue light photon and red light photon, which has more energy? Blue light photon or red light photon has more energy. So blue. depend to what? Blue. Eh? Blue have more energy because higher frequency. Eh? High frequency means one packet of energy of the blue light has more energy. Okay. Of course, gamma and uh, of course radio. Gamma one one photon of gamma has more greatest energy among all the EM radiation. Eh? So I the frequency greater the energy in a photon. Any questions so far? Okay, new idea. Eh? Okay, for one example, you see the question. Find the frequency and energy of photon of wavelength 500 nanometer. You have a VM radiation of 500 nanometer. How much of one photon energy? How much frequency that? So frequency. C over lambda, speed of light over the lambda wavelength, uh, 3 times 10 to the power of 8, uh, 500 nanometer change to meter, and you get the frequency, and uh, 6 times 10 to the power of 14. The energy of one photon is HF, uh, H times the frequency, is the energy of one packet of that radiation, 500 nanometer. Okay. 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 Uh, let's we do it together. Uh, you, in your mind, try to think the idea. How are you going to get the answer for this? A light source emitting a photon real light of 700 nanometer. While a radio antenna emits FM electromagnetic radiation of 3 meter. Okay, indirectly tell me, red light or the FM electromagnetic radiation, which has a greater photon energy, one packet of energy, which has greater as the longest wavelength or the shortest wavelength? The shortest, shortest. Wavelength, shortest wavelength has a greater photon energy. So part A, what is the energy of photon of a red So what formula must come to your mind? HF or HC over lambda. Here we go HC over lambda because wavelength is provided. So yeah, so that's working here. Yeah. So energy of photon is HC over lambda. HC lambda is 700, so you get the energy the red light. Same thing, EM radiation, put the wavelength of the EM radiation, you get the energy of the EM radiation. And third, they're asking what is the ratio of the both photon energy, rate divided by electromagnet. I think rate energy, rate light energy is far more, more energy than the electromagnetic radiation because of very low wavelength eh, compared to the EM radiation, uh, compared to the radio wave. Eh? Okay, so this is a concept of photon. Concept of photon never used in classical physics. Your A is topic uh, no such thing as photon okay photon only in modern physics okay modern physics okay so look at this question okay this is uh, slightly different eh? a laser okay a laser output of power 2 milliwatt Okay, this is your power. Power means what? Power is energy over time. And energy over time process uh, monochromatic light this much of frequency. Calculate the rate at which the photon I emitted from the laser. How many photons comes out in a second? That's the part A question. So look at the answer. Part A, we are looking for, we know power is total energy over time. The energy eh, for the first time we're going to write in terms of photon. You see, see, the energy is taken to be uh, n times photon. Okay, n times photon. N is number of photons. N times photon energy in one photon. 
So energy in one photon is HR. So any energy released by the what do you call the laser is NHF. We assume is in terms of photon. It is photon. So NHF. Uh, so NHF over time is the power. We are looking for N over T. N over T. Number of photons per second uh, releases power over HT. We get the answer. This much of photon has been released in a second. Something new for the first time. Energy is NHF. Okay, NHF. Last time, energy of a light eh, of a wave. Eh, uh, we normally put like energy of you know you, you, you still remember SHM, SHM, oscillating energy, half m omega squared x naught squared. You still remember? Uh, this is energy of a wave. Uh, this energy of a wave. Uh, this is your wave idea. This is a wave idea. Uh, wave. Okay. But now the new idea under under classical physics, Einstein saying that the energy is in terms of photon, so it's in NHF. Okay. NHF. So you have two formulas. This half m omega squared x naught squared. You need to use it under all the topic except quantum physics and come to quantum physics energy is nhf okay nhf okay and come to shm energy of uh, oscillation is like half m omega squared x naught square eh? okay so yeah so you get the rate at which photon are emitted from the laser okay so we're done with the a b how will rate of photon emission change if the same laser were to produce light of lower frequency at the same power? Try to understand the question. How will the rate of photon emission change? That means they're asking, what will happen to the NOT value? What happened to the NOT value? The power is the same, but lower frequency. If frequency get lower, what happened to the number of photons released per second? should increase, right? Since P and H are constant, N over T is proportional to one over F. Uh, when frequency is small, the rate of photon emission increases. Uh, sorry, and F reduces, the rate of photon emission increases. More photons. Uh, smaller the frequency for a particular energy, you get more photons, okay? Because smaller packet. Any question, part B? Anyone? Okay, hope you understand. Eh? So, third, if a laser white, uh, which produces a monochromatic light of this much, can emit this much of photon per second, what is its power rate? So, frequency given, uh, N over T given. So, N over T given, this is the N over T value. Uh, frequency is given. And H, we know, Planck constant, so you can get the power. Okay, any question from this slide? Okay, so, so photon energy is in terms of photon. Okay, so energy we put NH, N times number of photons. Okay, number of uh, N times energy in one photon. Okay. Okay, now you know. Wave is uh, uh, EM radiation. We know EM radiation is a wave, right? We know EM radiation is a wave. Uh, uh, can anyone tell me what is the proof that EM radiation is a wave? What is the proof that EM radiation is a wave? What is the proof that light is a wave? What is the proof that radio is a wave? Radio, radio signal is a wave. Anyone? What is the proof? Interference. Yes, very good. Because the light, the EM radiation, do interfere, do diffract, do refract, uh, for reflect. So this is all a phenomena of uh, if. So EM radiation does that, it interfere, it diffract and diffract. Therefore, we label it as wave. And we found that energy is continuous. Okay. Uh, this concept was, was no, uh, we never confused with this concept until a big bloom, uh, a big problem happened in science world. After one experiment, 
the idea of them is a way become like questionable. Okay, what that experiment we call it photoelectric emission. This is a, a, a big a breakthrough in science. Eh? Science which questioning that is it EM wave, EM radiation? Is it a wave? Okay, question by this photo, this 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 experiment because the result of this photoelectric emission result is against the wave idea of EM radiation. That's what we're going to discuss this. Eh? First of all, what is meant by photoelectric emission? Photoelectric. Photo means what? Light. Eh? Light. Photo means light. Uh, EM radiation light. Light. Electric. Light tend to become electric. Uh, it's called photoelectric emission. Okay. Is, what is photoelectric emission? It's a release of electron. Uh, release of electron from a surface of a metal when electromagnetic radiation is incident on its surface. That called photoelectric emission. Okay, what is photoelectric emission? The release of electron from a surface of a metal when EM radiation is incident on it. Okay, for example, uh, this is the setup. You guys can see the setup, right? Can I? Uh, Okay, this is a setup. This is photoelectric experiment. It is photoelectric. This is photoelectric emission. What is meant by photoelectric emission? When photoelectric emission is a process of release electron, you know, the, the red spots coming out is the electron. Uh, this is your electron. Yeah? The release of electron from a metal surface and uh, EM radiation. This is your EM radiation. Uh, when EM radiation is exposed to the metal plate. It's called photoelectric emission. Okay, this experiment, the outcome was against to the wave idea of EM radiation. Okay, that's our main discussion for today's lesson. Okay, okay let me close this first. Uh, so this photoelectric emission uh, release electron from a metal surface and an EM radiation is exposed to the metal. Okay. Is the release of electron from the surface of a metal when EM radiation is incident on its surface. Okay, so now uh, this is a little blur. I'll be going back to that that animation. Eh? You know, when the when scientists do this experiment, they got few outcomes. Okay, a few outcomes. Okay, the photoelectric effect. The observation and conclusion. Okay, it against the wave idea. The first outcome which against wave idea. Let me choose the first one. The first one is this. Okay, this is the first one. First point. So scientists are so so shocked to see the the first observation. What is that? The photo emission takes place instantaneously. There is no delay between the elimination and uh, this was so shocking. Why? You see, you have a metal plate. You have a metal plate. Okay, you have a metal plate. Uh, they shine with the EM radiation. They shine with the EM radiation. Maybe a red light. Let's say they shine with maybe a red light. Okay, red light. We know uh, the energy of a light in our mind is the energy is continuous. Is continuous. Okay. Uh, let's say the red light has uh, intensity of, uh, let's say, I put a number, uh, let's say it has uh, 2 milliwatt, okay, 2 milliwatt, let's say, okay, so let's say the, the power, the power is 2 milliwatt, the red light reaches the surface, 2 milliwatt means what do you understand, 2 millijoule of, of energy of wave will reach the surface, Every second, every second, right? Two millijoule of energy will reach the surface at every millisecond, every second. Eh? Let's say the electron in the metal plate is bonded. Of course, the electron was tight, bonded to the metal. Let's say the bonding carries an energy of, let's say, 10 millijoule. Okay? Let's say the bonding is 10 millijoule. Red light power is 2 milliwatts. That means you're only going to, expo you're going to give, give energy how much? 2 millijoule in one second. 
but the electron was bonded to 10 millijoule. How long after how after what time the electron should be released from the material surface? Anyone? The red light power was two milliwatts. That means it gives you send two millijoule of energy to the surface. The bonding of electron is 10 millijoule. So how long you have to wait for the red light uh, for the electron to come up from the metal surface? Electron only can come up from the metal surface when the bond is break, uh, or was uh, broken, right? Okay. To break the bond, the electron must get 10 millijoule. So what is the time taken for the electron to get that, that much of energy? Two millijoule of per second only the light striking. So what is the time needed? Anyone? Need about five seconds, right? Because the light gives energy to the surface two millijoule in a second. One second only give two millijoule. So for five seconds, uh, light enough give ten millijoule. So electron will be released. So you get the electron comes up. Okay. So if the power of the uh, light reduced to one milliwatt. The electron comes out, take more time, should take 10 seconds. So whatever it is, they should have delay. The electron when it comes out from the metal plate must have delay, cannot come instantaneously. Okay, they should have a delay, five seconds or 10 seconds depends on the power. The scientists change the power to a lower one, but still they found the electron comes out instantaneously. Uh, this is the first uh, outcome against the Wave, wave, what do you call wave idea? Eh? Wave. If it's light is a wave, the energy must be continuous. If energy is continuous, means the electron comes out must have a delay, but there is no delay, instantaneous. Okay, this is the first outcome against wave theory. Any questions so far? Guys, can you understand? Okay. So yeah. So if you have any question, just stop me. Eh? Okay. Actually, there are three main evidence like against wave theory. The second evidence is the second one. Uh, second one. Second one also uh, another another outcome which really uh, confused the scientists at that moment. Eh? The photo emission takes place only in the frequency of incident radiations above a certain value called threshold frequency. Uh, threshold frequency. Uh, mean what? Okay, let me go to the code here. Okay, this is the diagram. When the scientists do the experiment, okay, this I put here uh, zero. Uh, okay. So the second question is the frequency. Uh, so there is a metal plate here. The scientists in change the frequency. You see on top here, the, the, we can change this animation from UV light to a uh, red light. Eh? From UV, when I go to red light, what happens to the frequency? Frequency increases. You see this diagram, uh, electron still coming out. Electron is still coming out, it has been released. And I put it at UV, uh, UV. Uh, okay, let me put at, uh, to the right, I increase the I decrease the frequency. When I decrease the frequency, the electron comes out, it reduces. Then after that, no electron comes out. Electron comes out at a particular frequency. At what particular frequency? Electron never comes out. If I go a little up, ah, the electron start to come out. When I go a little frequency lower, no electron comes out. I mean, scientists found there is a limit for frequency only a certain very high frequency the electron is coming up lower frequency electron coming never coming up there is a static one and this this frequency called threshold frequency call it what threshold frequency i put in the high frequency i go towards uv in high frequency uh, the electron released and i put a lower frequency i think less than green light green light green light also never give any Electron does not come out. So at green line frequency never come out. Okay. Okay. So why this is again the wave theory? Second one. Eh? 
photo emission increases only the frequency emission radiation is above certain threshold frequency. Why this is again the wave pattern? Uh, you see, yeah, at a metal plate, okay, you give a red light, you give a red light, okay, uh, the electron again bounded with 10 milli, milli, millijoule, let's say 10 millijoule, okay. According to wave idea, if this red light, if it's a wave, in our mind, the energy is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude, right? This is what you learned in your wave theory, right? In your AS last time. Uh, sorry, the intensity. Yeah? The intensity, yeah? The intensity directly proportional to the amplitude squared. And you know the from SHM, energy formula is half M omega squared x naught squared. So the energy that we say is directly proportional to the uh, what do you call amplitude square? Amplitude. It's directly proportional to amplitude square. So according to the wave, eh? according to the wave, uh, whatever frequency you use, whatever frequency you use, of course the omega, the omega frequency inside the omega, okay. Whatever frequency you use, the energy, the energy in the wave going to drop, okay. Energy, this energy is energy per second lah, going to drop. Uh, the electron is going to take more time to release. It's going to take more time to release. Okay. If you use low frequency, or in other words, okay, low frequency, uh, it takes more time to release. But eventually, it should release. It should release. It must take more time. Okay. But here, they found there is a threshold frequency. Threshold frequency means what? A certain lower frequency. Eh? The scientists waited maybe four to five hours or longer period. They can't even see one electron comes up. The electron is not at all has been released. So they were quite confused. Okay, quite confused because they found that energy is dependent to square of the amplitude. Okay, square of the amplitude. But why frequency determines the energy? Okay, this is the second. Outcome. Wave energy means something to do with amplitude. Higher the amplitude, more energy. But that looks like now looks like the frequency determines the energy according to the experiment. Okay, existence of threshold proving that the energy looks like is is affected by the frequency. Energy is affected by the frequency. So this is the second outcome uh, against the wave idea. Okay, and the third one, the third one, uh, this point different metal has a different threshold frequency. I can come back to this later. Uh, third one is the whether or not the emission take place depends only on whether the frequency of the radiation used above the threshold of the surface. It does not depend to the intensity, and, and it does depend to the intensity. Okay, so the of electron. The scientists thought it depend to the intensity. Depend to the intensity. You want to release the electron faster, just make the intensity higher. If you rise the intensity, means weak amplitude. So the amount of energy per second it owns is a lot. So the electron can be released faster. But they say they look like intensity also rise. The electron does not release for a certain lower frequency. Okay. So this is the third factor against the wave idea. Okay, so photoelectric effect is uh, against the wave idea because of these three three outcomes. First is what the emission is instantaneous. According to wave idea, you must have a delay. You must have a delay because light uh, only strikes a certain amount of energy per second. So the electron need to collect the energy until it was released. Should have delay, but what what happens it was instantaneous. Second. Energy nothing to do with frequency according to wave. Energy is depend to amplitude, only the amplitude. But here the existence of threshold frequency means threshold means what? Uh, lower than this frequency, the electron not at all emitted. That means looks like the energy looks like proportional, it affected by frequency. Uh, affected by frequency. Uh, that's second uh, to the wave idea. Okay. Third. The like the intensity does not causes the electron to release. Okay, it's not like dependent to intensity. The emission looks like it's dependent to frequency. Okay, so.
So, so these are the three factors you have to remember. Okay. So I go back. Okay, this one you see, green light. Okay, sorry, I put here. Huh? So you see the on top here intensity, lower intensity, high intensity. Huh? Uh, what is meant by intensity means the light get more brighter. Light get more brighter means theoretically, what do you understand? It has more energy per second. Yes, more energy per second. Last time you strike two milli millijoule per second. You rise the intensity a lot means it has maybe 10 millijoule per second. Okay. According to wave idea, okay, two millijoule per second, electron ball means five seconds it takes to come out. Okay. If you put 10 millijoule, the electron should come out in one second. So intensity can release the electron faster according to the wave idea, eh, which does not work. You see here, I give a green light. I rise the intensity. I rise the intensity. The energy per second in the light has been increased, but the electrons still never come out. Never come out. So, so intensity doesn't affect the release of electron. But if you put the green light uh, low, you put a low intensity. You rise the frequency. You go to the UV. Rise the frequency. Uh, electrons start to come out. So electron release. It's not depend to intensity, nothing to do with intensity. Okay, it depends to frequency. Frequency high, electron comes out. Frequency very low, electron never come out at all, although you change intensity. And that's the third factor. According to this idea, you rise intensity, electron should be able to come out. But what has been observed in the photoelectric effect, intensity, intensity doesn't, uh, doesn't the role in release of electron. Okay. Frequency plays a role in release of electron. Okay, so this is the three factors law. Eh? If I go back to the word file, this is the word file. Okay, so the experimental result photoelectric emission, eh? which against the wave theory. Please remember the three factor. Eh? The three factor. The IS five. You must remember the first one. Eh? The metal frequency is the radiation rate at which photoelectric directly proportional intensity. First one, second one. Eh? For given metals, exit. Yeah, second one important. Eh? For a given metal, there is a certain minimum frequency is needed. Eh? Existence of threshold frequency. One evidence against wave theory. Okay. Second evidence, the threshold energy given the fifth one. Time lag. Eh? The time lag between the incident radiation and the emission of photoelectrons is very small, very small. So, but wave predicted should have should have should have uh, time delay. Must have time delay. Okay, but what has been observed? No time delay. Okay. Third, uh, both threshold frequency, maximum kinetic energy of the These are the three law for metal frequency. The metal given particular level function increase frequency of the incident beam increases the intensity of emission. The both maximum kinetic energy emitted photo depends on the frequency of the incident light, but it's independent of intensity of the incident light. The fourth one, eh? the release of electron is independent of intensity, but it's dependent to frequency. So scientists was looking like the energy is, is this proportional to amplitude squared, but now according to photoelectric effect. And it looks like is affected by frequency. It, it, it looks like more affected by frequency. Okay. Any questions so far? This is a long story, guys. <laughs> okay. So, photoelectric effect. So, what is photoelectric emission? Release of electron from surface metal and electromagnetic radiation is incident on its surface. Okay. Uh, photoelectric effect is the big problem in the science world because of what? All the outcome was against the wave idea of light. Okay, why it's against? What is the factor against the wave idea? The, the three I told you. The release of electron was instantaneous. Wave thought should have a delay. Uh, existence of threshold frequency. Wave thought any frequency can release electron. Okay, because energy is nothing to do with frequency. It's something to do with amplitude. Okay. 
the the release of electron looks like independent to frequency it does not depend to they thought release of electron is dependent to intensity okay so so the world comes to a very good a very critical stage so now we confuse is it light or em radiation we know that the leaves wave it's wave we have a proof is diffract reflect interfere so it has a property of wave but now photoelectric shows another character of the light called particle particle nature it's called particle eh? particle particle nature like like discrete like a packet the light energy shows a a, part, a particle nature like a discrete uh, object okay like you are you are like a discrete eh? like water is continuous eh? so so nobody able to explain this idea photoelectric effect at that moment 1900 okay uh, the first line uh, the experiment was was carried out by einstein i need to throw this word in the experiment is not done by einstein einstein never do any experiment okay einstein is a theoretical scientist okay what is meant by theoretical scientist people do experiment if the people don't know how to explain he, he will use his theory to explain it okay he's a theoretical scientist so in 1905 after 5 years later einstein explained this photoelectric effect einstein explained this photoelectric effect he totally he, he said light is a wave but he said light also has a particle nature and he brought the idea of photon he brought the idea of photon who first told by who max planck max planck told the, told the idea of photon so einstein used the photon idea to explain this photoelectric effect and uh, he successfully explained the photoelectric effect and he got a nobel prize for that okay he explained it successfully eh? einstein only got one nobel prize and the nobel prize is for explaining photoelectric effect okay okay now let's we see how he explained this stuff okay how he explained this stuff that's our uh, discussion now okay so please focus how einstein explained this photoelectric effect okay you see like this this is einstein's theory uh, this is einstein's theory okay he you know this he got a nobel prize you know, with a uh, one one uh, full thesis la one one paper uh, one general paper okay 1905 okay you see first through the idea wave energy is continuous we know energy of wave continuous but when the light when the em radiation interact with matter matter means like a metal the energy looks like is in terms of packet according to einstein so that one packet of energy is a photon the energy of em radiation is is in a packet photon and he said the energy and front photon is hr told by planck okay so hr Okay, now he said, uh, look at this formula. Look at this formula. According to Einstein, Einstein said that uh, when you have a metal plate, when you have a metal plate, when uh, when the photon of energy strikes the electron, every electron take one photon. Every electron take one photon according to him. Okay, so he said electron take the photon. The electron use that photon energy for two things. He said. hf eh? hf is energy of the photon you see the energy of the photon hf is used by electron for two things first is this phi eh? the phi 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 is actually the bonding he used the uh, most of the energy of the photon to break the bond the phi is actually got special name here called work function you call it what work function a uh, work function actually bond Bonding energy required to bring the bond. We call it work function. So the electron, uh, whatever HF packet you get, we use to break the bond. And if it has a balanced energy, it it take it as a kinetic energy. Uh, this is what Einstein explained. He said, let's say one photon energy, one photon HF. Eh? Let's say you have five uh, EV, okay, plus uh, in uh, 
in a microscopic stage at a at a part at an electron proton level subatomic particle level like electron stage the energy they won't use joule anymore because joule is a very big unit for energy we use ev ev what is ev full name electron volt electron volt is a smaller unit for energy okay so now i use ev 5 ev ev means electron volt energy of uh, is energy unit eh? so let's say the photon uh, electron get is 5 ev the electron sa bonding is 3 ev so the electron will pay the 3 ev 3 ev will be uh, hf equals to what a uh, 5 plus kinetic energy so the 5 ev will be the photon energy the 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 work function the bonding is 3 ev so the electron 2 ev will be its kinetic energy so electron will come out with the kinetic energy 2 ev okay so this is the idea einstein said hf work function plus kinetic energy okay so uh, last time hf scientists thought that is half m omega squared x not squared you know the wave energy formula and uh, because they are thinking light is a wave like em is a wave but einstein said in interact with matter it looks like behaving like particles so the energy formula was photon energy hf okay okay now when he said this he explained the all three problem he explained all the three problem already okay the first problem all the first problem is answered what is the first problem what is the first problem electron was released instantaneously the electron was released instantaneously yes according to einstein idea why the need to wait for energy you never collect the energy continuously energy is not continuous according to einstein eh the energy is once the electron get one packet that's it you can release you don't need to wait for time okay so the emission was instantaneous once the electron get one photon it will be released so no need to wait so einstein explains the first idea okay so yes it should be instantaneous according to his theory okay Okay, understand? First one. Okay, second one also Einstein explain it. Okay, what he said? The what what they observe? The photoelectric emission takes place more than a certain frequency value. Less than a certain frequency value, not at all. The electron was emitted. So according to Einstein, is it explained? Go back. What is his formula? What is formula? Let me clear this. Eh? Okay. according to according to einstein uh let's say the metal the hf the photon you get with a lower frequency a certain low frequency is only able to give you 2 ev but the electron bonding is 3 ev uh, hf equals to work function plus kinetic energy the hf is only 2 ev but the bonding is 3 ev do you expect the electron to release it won't release uh, release because one packet of energy is too small so what what determine the energy of a photon frequency frequency a certain lower frequency the photon energy will be smaller than the bonding so the electron can't release at all okay you raise the intensity also nothing not, the electron cannot be released because so what the energy of a photon depend to frequency so he answered the second one the photoelectric emission should take place certain frequency uh, there is existence of threshold frequency there is a limit for frequency you should use more than that frequency if you go less than that threshold frequency what happen the electron end up not released because the photon energy is lower than the work function or the bonding so einstein theory explains the second point okay and the third point third point here yeah. the emission of electron is depend is independent of intensity independent of intensity okay it depend to frequency the emission is depend to frequency as i said it depend to frequency right you see when frequency rise hf will rise when hf rise more, more than function uh, electron will be released so release of electron depend to frequency then what intensity test what intensity test what what intensity test 
intensity make the light more brighter okay more brighter means okay let's say a light comes out a light comes out let's say intensity use 2 milli watts okay that means 2 milli joule per second let's say put in terms of ev let's say you got 2000 ev per second is energy released by the light okay let's say one packet of photon let's say got 10 ev how many photon you will get how many photon you get 2000 divided by 10 you get 200 packet you get 200 packet okay so if you rise intensity means you rise what you rise intensity means you rise number of photon you rise the number of photon hit the surface per second how many photons hit the surface per second we increase the number of photon but do you increase energy in one photon the intensity is increase the energy in one photon how much of energy in one packet is it intensity affects any energy in in one photon no it affects number of photons that's it you can move photons la but energy in one photon not determined by intensity so so if you use a very low frequency so it should be very small than the work function but if you use high intensity doesn't make sense what you get more photon but every photon unable to release the electron why every photon has energy lower than the work function so it won't be released so conclusion intensity never contribute to release of electron intensity only increase the number of photon intensity doesn't rise the energy in one photon so einstein able to explain this three okay class so today is a very heavy topic so any questions so far okay this this quantum physics is a is a new topic new idea okay uh, what in the last time now you see like is is uh, like uh, need to be corrected and uh, need to be corrected last time we thought light light is a wave now light looks like as a particle it has particle nature no doubt light is a wave light is wave but it's a dual character we call it split split personality eh? Like human, eh? it has a two personality. It definitely weighs ninety nine point nine percent. But when interact with matter, it shows its particle character. Particle character. The energy looks like in terms of packet, and the energy is proportional to the frequency. Nothing to do with amplitude. That's the new idea. Hey class. So uh, later. Uh, you see the video. Let me show you how to make it first to understand this. Any questions so far? Yes. I know in your mind you got lots of questions. You go through this slide, okay? And I put the video. You replay again and again. Try to understand what I'm trying to say to you. Okay. So I I'll be giving the extra class 10:30 to 12. Okay. we have no choice we have to i have to give you the extra class if not very difficult to finish the syllabus so those who can attend you can attend 10:30 to 12 those who can't you watch the video later okay the video is very important because quantum physics is a new idea i'm going to continue with the quantum physics discussion so good if you are you are attending the class okay okay class okay no oh, when is uh, it tomorrow is it ah uh, tomorrow 10:30 to 12 Through team, eh? okay. Uh, please attend because uh, this idea is something new. Eh? Okay. So any questions? Okay, class. I stop here. Uh, try to recall back this slide for today. Prepare for tomorrow. Eh? Okay. Thanks. Okay.